We've had some seriously poxy weather again this summer, but I wanted to follow up on the video we made on making your own sheets of foundation. There's a link for that video in the description below. That's a homemade sheet of wax, and that's a press for putting the little indentations into it. The water has to be hot, and I put a little washing up liquid in it so the sheets don't stick. It sort of works, but the indentations are only shallow and not particularly clear. I think a pair of rollers is the only way to do this job properly. So mostly, I just don't bother. I put whole sheets of wax into the frames just as they come off the sheet making board. And I also slice them up into one inch starter strips. I always use at least three pins to hold these into the frames. This is the standard wired foundation that you can buy anywhere and it's brilliant and I use it a lot. And I also use strips of that foundation, well the unwired foundation, so every second frame is just a starter strip. And here's a homemade sheet and here's a homemade starter strip. With every second sheet a whole one, the ones in between stay straight and parallel. Otherwise the bees tend to go a bit freestyle and you could just end up with a bit of a mess. So what did the bees make of these? First the factory made sheet. The indentations are all worker cell size so the bees mostly build worker cells on it, which is fine but they don't like the wires at all and the queen won't lay in cells near the wire so you can still see where the wires are through all the comb. And here's a homemade sheet. In this case the bees are building worker cells on it. As always they're doing a breathtakingly perfect job. It's always a joy to watch new comb being built. There's no wire in here so it's going to be trickier to extract, but it's fine for just cutting up into blocks of cut comb honey. Girls, off again. Come on. Yeah. A little bit of grass. Everybody off the camera. Come on. And the starter strips, well, the bees just build whatever sort of comb they like. This one was stuck to the wood and that's why the bottom edge is broken off. But it's all worker comb. And this one is all drone comb. The really interesting thing with using starter strips is watching what sort of comb the bees built, given that they can choose for themselves. Here's an older one, and you can see they've chosen a mixture of cell sizes. At the top is worker comb filled with honey. Then there's just a small patch of worker brood, and the rest is drone comb with drone brood in it. It's very easy, of course, to tell the difference when the cells are capped like this because the drone cells are not just longer and wider, they also have a much more roundy cap. All this drone comb shows clearly that the bees want far more drones in their colony than standard foundation allows them to have. I can only guess that the reason for this is genetic diversity is absolutely vital for them. They choose to put so much of their resources into raising lots of drones for the simple reason that all those drones are necessary. Most won't actually ever mate, but they'll all try, and having plenty of them around ensures a large genetic variation of those that do succeed. These colonies are not being wasteful. Lots of drones are essential for the ongoing health of honeybees everywhere. Here's another frame with far more worker brood in it, showing that they vary the mix very much depending on what they feel they need and the time of year. This one only has a patch of drone comb on it. Note the little gaps they leave around the edge. And just to show that they don't always build drone comb, here's another one they made all by themselves and it's all worker comb that they're filling with honey. Of course, I'm delighted that they make whatever comb they want to make. If they want more drones, then that's absolutely fine by me. They know much better 
how to organize themselves than I could ever know. So I shall just watch and learn and remain in complete awe of these magnificent animals. And here's one reason why I don't make lots of videos about bees and beekeeping. It's just not that easy on your own. Just look at all the would-be camera operators. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, happy beekeeping.